A male lion will always fight because it's his job, while the females will do the hunting. The females would guard the cubs if a male lion emerged in the wild, and the males would attack. That's how the pride works. As a result, a male lion should win. It's what they do. And if not, then the final judgment will follow. All right, welcome to Animals Wow TV. What do you think will happen to a male lion after being defeated to be king of his pride? Stick around till the very end and you won't regret it. Let's get started. A lion's life is already a gamble in itself. Cubs are exposed to a variety of threats from the moment they're born, including hyenas and nomad males, who, after usurping a pride, kill any existing cubs in order for the lionesses to become fertile and receptive. Upon reaching about two to three years of age, male lions are evicted from prides, as dominant males no longer perceive them as cubs, but as potential rivals. Males acquire maturity around the age of three years, but they are physiologically incapable of engaging, confronting, or supplanting males who have prides of their own. This leaves them to defend for themselves for around one to three years. Depending on the age at which they were originally separated from their prides, male nomads from the same pride are usually brothers or cousins, and when forced out, they form small gangs to defeat the reigning king of their target pride. Lions live in prides, but the popular phrase, the more the merrier, does not apply to them. When lions reach the age of two, elder male lions tend to kick them out of the pride while female lions tend to stay. Male lions, on the other hand, are not so fortunate, and mommy lion does nothing to keep her offspring from being exiled. She could, but being a single mother is dangerous because she needs to hunt for food while protecting her children. And that's literally impossible. It's hard, even for humans it's applicable. We cannot deny the fact that every single mom out there is struggling every single day fighting for their children. Besides, she has had a fortunate existence and might continue to be proud for the rest of her life. It doesn't make sense at first, does it? Why should the young ones be exiled just as they are proving to be valuable to the pride? This means that until then, the nomads must either hunt on their own or steal prey from smaller, solitary creatures such as cheetahs or leopards who would have had no chance of defending a kill from a lion. For humans, abandoning children is cruel and irresponsible, but for lions, it is the norm. It's the equivalent of having an 18th birthday celebration for somebody, but for the lion, it's a banishment or eviction party. Even elder lions are not exempt, as they are kicked out of the pride when they are no longer capable of fathering cubs, or when a younger lion enters and replaces them. Male lions achieve sexual maturity around the age of two. Their bodies start producing a lot more testosterone, and they start starting conflicts with dad. And this does not sit well with dad. Dad, or whoever the governing man is, eventually gets tired of having his authority questioned and thinks enough is enough. He drives the younger male out of his territory, away from their families and homes, and the young male embarks on a trip that many will not survive. A male lion has no family from this day forward until he starts his own. A male lion, like his father before him, can command pride with talent and luck, but the chances are rare. But in the meantime, what happens? When they've spent their entire lives relying on family, how can they suddenly know how to make it on their own? After a young male lion leaves the pride, two factors determine his success or failure, luck and heredity. It might be as simple as avoiding the potentially fatal mistake of venturing into an established male's territory or just stumbling across easy prey. Genetics is a rather simple subject. A healthy animal has a better chance of surviving. A larger, stronger, and faster lion has a better chance of winning a fight and capturing prey. In comparison to an albino or a much lighter male, a tawny male has a better chance. And so it continues. Some adolescents will stay about the pride's territory for a while after being chased away, 
until dad ultimately drives them out for good. It's heartbreaking for us to consider. After all, it's similar to a real parent kicking their middle school aged son out of the door after he was of legal age. Imagine how teenage animals must feel if the hardships of human puberty, with all its perplexing hormonal ups and downs, aren't enough. But it's not all horrible. Male cousins and brothers are frequently kicked out of the pride at the same time. Most opt to stay together after being kicked out. Young males commonly establish bachelor prides, as seen in other gregarious species, such as elephants. The organization frequently recruits an older male who has lost his pride as a result of age or bad luck. The older male serves as the pride's mentor and patriarch. Between the testosterone-crazed youngins, he keeps things polite. Bachelor prides are frequently successful when they have an experienced man watching over them, controlling their tempers, and teaching them the essentials. Furthermore, by fighting and intimidating each other, young guys can build critical skills they will need to make it on their own. Young males may be prideless for a long time before developing a pride. Brothers, male cousins, and even members of the same bachelor group may rule a pride together when the time comes. A single pride can have up to three males. Prides are formed by a lioness or many lionesses coming across a lioness who, for whatever reason, does not have a pride or has lost their male, although this is less likely to occur. Males will dominate a pride as long as their health and rivalry allow them to. Some people die in warfare, while others die from fight-related injuries. An elderly man may be able to join a bachelor pride or maybe discover a new pride if they're lucky. Male lions die of famine, injuries, and illness the majority of the time. In short, a male lion's life isn't easy. In fact, it kind of sucks. They are often youthful, fit, and capable of hunting when they leave. They may create alliances with other nomadic males on occasion. They'll then look for a pride that has ineffective leadership or is otherwise ready for a takeover. Because this is combat to the death, it must be precisely timed. They live a nomadic existence until this moment comes since they are always on someone else's land. In general, being a king is really tough and challenging. It's a long, exhausting process filled with suffering, hunger, and death. To be deserving of the crown, you must demonstrate your worth. But as they say, no pain, no gain. And that's exactly how life works, even in the wild. Everyone should be aware of that. If you were a male lion, would you still be grateful to be king? Yeah, think of it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. And while you're here, check out our other videos.